Good morning. So we will give more time until all the... Uh... Good morning. Good morning. Sabah al khair. Sabah al khair. You have kids in which year? Uh, my son is in year three and uh, my daughter is in FS2. Okay. What's your name and son, your son in year three? Uh, Bavish. Bavish. Would, would Miss uh, Noor or Bayan or uh, Nisreen? I think he's with Miss Nisreen. Nisreen, yes. Yes, med level in year three. Yeah. Okay, we will wait more time until um, more parents join us and then I will start my presentation if you have any questions. Do you want to ask me now or we will wait until to the end? Uh, I think it's okay. I like to hear what is the overview and you know what we are supposed to do in Arabic. Okay, so, no problem. Yeah, then I think then I'll have more questions. <laughs> okay, no problem. Good morning, Sabah al khair. Sabah al noor, Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you, and for you too. I'm, I will be quiet now and just listen and learn. I okay. adore your background, very okay. creative, but uh, it's very tamam. Uh, I will be quiet now. Okay, thank you very much for your mess. <laughs> So we will wait one more minute and I will start.
اوكي اي ويل ستارت رايت ناو صباح الخير اتمنى اي هوب ايفري ثينج از فاين جود مورنينج اي ويل ستارت اور وركشوب فور ذا اربيك بي اوكي ليت مي ستارت Okay, if you have any question, please let me know. Let me start again. Okay. okay, again, marhaba. I am the head of Arabic B. My name is Ms. Rasha Hijazi. Um, I'm also teaching uh, two classes in primary and secondary GCSE. So our I will give you some planning about our uh, Arabic B curriculum, how our policy for assessment and homework in general. Then I will talk about remote re learning. Uh, let's meet the team. Most of you know Ms. Nisreen, she's teaching FS and from year one to year three. Ms. Bayan from year one to year five. Ms. Isra, she's teaching beginner from year four to year nine. Ms. Lara also teaching from year four to year nine, and Ms. Noor teaching year from year two to year three, and also year five and seven, eight, nine. So we in Arabic B, we are following um, uh, the new frame of work, uh, teaching a second language, and also we uh, gems uh, scheme of work, and also the years of study of each student. We have, we are uh, from year one and year two, there is no leveling. We start our leveling from year three to year uh, nine. We have three different level. It depends on years of study. Uh, beginner for who study from zero to one year. Uh, med from who study from two to four, it depends. And then uh, high from who study uh, from four to six years. And we have in year 10 and year 11 GCSE. I will show you some uh, examples from the topic that we are teaching. Uh, in year two, we are teaching, we start identity, myself, name, and age. And also we are teaching them the long vowel and the short vowel with all the alphabet. And we have different topics. In the class, they are learning about the class uh, words, verb, adjectives, also family member, adjective, and opinion. This is for year two. I give you some exam examples only for the first for the first term. And then this is also an example for term. One for year six, they learn what I want and what I need, weather, season, clothes. So and each of this, we are doing a planning uh now the planning is different than before let me explain more this is gcse uh also we are following uh, a dexel for year 10 and year 11 and we have assessment from for each skills also on gcse i believe each one of your students unique and they have uh different uh, fingerprint so each each uh, child has his individual style of learning that's why we have differentiation in and we are doing differentiation in in arabic b for four skills for listening for speaking for reading and for writing so each skills we are doing differentiation we have we are using the fiery chili uh, double chili green chili it depends before we start teach any topic we have uh, we share this one with the student that he knows or she knows what they are will learn what they will learn in each topic so we share this before we start then he knows that in the end of the so topic he must know this and this and this and this and after that he will do it individual. He will highlight 
what he achieved. And if, for example, he couldn't achieve anything, what we then he will know that he needs support in this and this. This is, will be uh, very helpful to our student and for us also. Like for example, in this topic, he achieved, let's say, um, he able to to do a dialogue easily with using different adjective, or he couldn't do it. Then we will know that we are we will be planning the next topic that he needs this and this and this missing and when we plan any topic we have something we call it word bank the word bank it depends for different topic for from me we are using this from year one to year nine like here the planning for year four in the school we have adjective we have a verb we have adverb we have nouns and connective this is we share it with the student uh, when he writes any, for example, uh, uh, writing, we are asking different style of writing, he used this one. Uh, we are not let them use the Google Translate because we, we believe this is not, it's um, this one more useful. He will search here because in Google Translate, not all the words is correctly give you this, the meaning that it's supposed to be. And we are not asking them to memorize it this um for example and uh, they don't memorize it just when when they know they will recognize this is mean this this is mean this and they are able to know where he will use the verb where he will use the adjective the order for the sentence and we have different activity for uh, before we start any reading we have something we call it before reading so this is our planning from year one to year nine before we start the text, we will, before we start, for example, the dialogue, before we start a letter, we do activity we call it before reading for the words. Then will help the student to recognize easily what uh, the words, what the new adjective he must learn. Like for example, here I have for you, um, before they learn about uh, the meals, we do for them a list for, can you please put for me uh, what do you eat in breakfast, in lunch, in dinner? And they, of course, they use the word bank. So then he will write, uh, he will write about um, four or five things about breakfast, what he eat, what he will eat. Then we give them a dialogue about this. So it will be more easily, and then he already knows some of the words, not all the words are new for him or for her. Here's some examples of the reading. Here's this one read year four, uh, this one year seven. And then after we learn uh, dialogue, we give them uh, questions. And of course, there is a different shell, as I said. This, here I have only a double chili and the fiery chili. And it depends for the student level. For example, if I know the student level is double, uh, double, if I actually, and he choose double, actually, I try to ask them to challenge, can you do this? Or he always do the easier one, you can do the other one, challenge yourself. And we are using for listening, we have something we call it puppet. We put our voice and we record it. This is one of the example. And then we create different listening questions and then for the speaking most of the st speaking we are using um these templates in the classroom we let the student to ask each others like for example they write for example one of them write the name here and one of them write the name here one person asks this question uh for the same student here and then he click this is he answered it correctly. So we, this training helped our student to uh, be in uh, independence because they are working together. Now in e-learning, we are asking them to do it with their own or with their one of the family member. And here, that one for mid and high, we are using Arabic totally, 100%, but in beginner, we give them all that, but he will know what he will able to in English. Like here, I will describe personal information, describe my hobbies. So this is about CV, 
and year nine because they are learning in CV, about CV. Then we have something we call it before writing. Always, always we uh, create, before the writing, for example, they will do um, mind map, they will write simple, simple text before they do the whole writing that they supposed to do it. This is for all, all, uh, and for example, also if they want to write a letter, we do also sample letter, then they do the original letter. And there is something we call it uh, writing techniques. When before he, he writes the paragraph, he must know what this paragraph is supposed to be. Then for example, he is supposed to be have verb, he will put verb and then he will click. It's supposed to have adjective, he will, it's supposed to have this connective, opinion, uh, as justify the opinion, then he will know exactly each student what it's supposed to be, to do. Also, this is samples of, of before writing, and then this is the techniques. We have different uh, creative writing from also, we start the creative writing from uh, year two to year nine but it depends for the level of the student. For example, year two, they will describe pictures. Then after that, they will write about their own house, their own family. But from year four to year nine, they have to learn how to write a formal and informal letter, Twitter opinion. Uh, in year six, uh, two weeks ago, they uh, learned how to write a summary. Now they are right. They are learning how to write a report. So it depends for the topic. Uh, I will not speak about. Okay, let me. So we have, uh, as you know, in primary we are using OTRAC, uh, and in secondary we are using Go for School. We put the marks of the student on these. Uh, let me tell you about the assessment. We are doing ongoing assessment for each skill. And in primary, this is one of in the, the, this one. In primary, we will do uh, for each skill an assessment. So the student, for example, he will read words, then he will, uh, they will do it and the teacher will listen. They, now in e-learning, we will do the same. We will send this one to the student. He will read it, he will record it, and then he will send it to the teacher and the teacher. But he will do it with her own, with his own, uh, or her own, and then he will, for example, if I will read all the uh, giving words in table one, I will, so he will do it reflective learner with her his own, and the teacher will speak to him and give him a feedback. This is also for a speaking assessment. So he will do a dialogue, for example, about, uh, or he will compare between here, winter and summer. And we put for them a pictures to help, like they will uh, compare between weather, between clothes, what they will do, what they will eat and uh, uh, eat. And then he will do, again, the reflective learner. This is also different style of the speaking test assessment and this is for the writing assessment so this is the criteria he will choose which chili suitable or his level then he will write he will do the writing in secondary we have key assessment in each term here i have some examples of the student they are uh, work they do do recording for v for themselves. Let me share with you one. This is one of when we put uh, before a homework on Padlet, we are asked the student to record uh, while they are reading. So this is one of the samples. And this is other one of the students she share. She's uh, described uh, her, her clothes and her family member. So she asked her family member to join her.
she, des she described her mom clothes and her dad clothes and then her, her own clothes. So um, any question until now before I complete? If you have any question about the Arabic P. Any question? Any question? Okay, I will complete uh, about now what we are doing. In primary, we are using CISO to record the three lessons weekly for all of our students, and there's one live session in Teams. Uh, this is in primary. In secondary, we have all, we since the beginning of the remote learning, we have all our lessons live, and we are following both we are following in primary and secondary timetable. Uh, we didn't in remote learning change. Why I explain for you, we have for each skills, we didn't change the planning. We are using the same planning that our student they used to. So we starting any topic with paragraph, questions about the paragraph, uh, grammar, uh, speaking exercise, listening exercise, uh, writing exercise. but. Uh, we are explaining the, the steps that they have to do in English more, but we are we have Arabic also. Like for example, here uh, in year six, so um, we are asked them to write a paragraph uh, about uh, the the previous learning. We are using now Quizlet and Word Bank. So we add Quizlet now to help our student to write a paragraph. So, and we give them a steps that they have, what they have to do. So it's the same happening, like for this one, and this is the criteria they have to follow. But we are explaining for them the steps that they, ha they have to do. And then this is the criteria. So he must have this and this and this and this, but we put translate, translation in Arabic and in English. So it's the same techniques that we are following. What we have the class, now they have almost the same at home. Here, for, for example, in year six, they have to plan uh, writing reports. So we give them also what they have to do, what, again, they are, uh, what's the elements of the reports, what they have to do. And we, in primary, we have two lesson. All of them, the third lesson must be a spelling test, all to help and support and uh, improve in the spelling. In the, this is, we did this step for the spelling that what they have to do, first they have to read the following words, blend the following words, third they have to write as this way. So, but we have a first slide listening to the teacher reading the words. So this is the word. They have to do a blending, then they have to write it while they are looking and then without looking. And after that, we are doing a reflection. Each teacher, so I show you here, um, the teacher do reflection with the voice to and give comments to the student. And then if the student have any mistake, he must reflect his learning. He must, for example, if he, uh, here all, all correct for the student, but if he have any mistake, he must do reflection for his uh, work. Then, uh, this is how the way to improve in his work. And uh, can I uh, tell you that we, when we have a well-being in the school, we create this uh, as Arabic B department. We ask, ask the student first, for example, if I write a comment, they have to give, uh, if they have any mistake, uh, they have to correct it. Not always say thank you to the teacher if she wrote for him a comment or for her. And then they have to challenge themselves. Uh, like, for example, not always choose the easier chili. They have to challenge, for example, the, the second, the double, the fiery, be a risk taker. And then they have also, if not only like, for example, do uh, write comments after the teacher comments, no, they have to do reflective, you know, for example, correct the work and upload it again 
on CSOR teams. So this is all. If you have any question, please let me know. And I can show you some also if you want to see some of the student work in CISO. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? Okay. Let me see. Any question about the Arabic B? Uh, if you have if you have any issue in remote learning when we start, um, anything do you want do you want me to explain for you? One more thing in primary, we have uh, each week in our live session. Um, well, uh, for the student, we give them a certificate for the one who work really hard, not only who do the activity, the whole activity, no, work really hard in each activity. If the teacher give him a comment or give her a comment, he following, he do uh, reflect for the, so we, cho we choose every week one of the student and we share it with the whole student. And this is uh, encourage uh, our student a lot. I think what but one mom with us? Yeah, yeah. Hi, Miss Rasha. I couldn't unmute. Sorry. Just uh, I have a request now in the lessons that you're sending, especially if there is a reading, you are first reading to them, and this is really okay. very helpful for them. But only request you are reading it really fast. So can you a bit read a bit <laughs> less slow because you know he has to go back catch the word he couldn't know like that. So just a little request. Okay, no problem. I will Thank do you. it. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say I'm very proud of Potwa. He worked really hard uh, during remote learning. He was the first one who took certificate in. Uh, in uh, yeah, I saw. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, Shireen. Shireen. Uh, how are you, Ramadan? Fine, thank you. Ramadan Kareem for you too. Um, well, uh, no one's really uh, saying much, but remote learning is very, I personally find it very, very challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, but the material, I mean, I've seen the material, it's, uh, it's, it's not too difficult and um, it's, it's quite simple to follow. I think it's just a challenge to maintain a routine and um, having the boys like, you know, um, hold their iPad and not go into their games, rather. So, um, so yeah, I, uh, you know, we're just going to have to do our best with, with what we have now and uh, hope we get back to school soon. Thank your you, kids, your kids in which year? Uh, I'm Omar and Yusuf's mom. Oh, okay. Me. Hi, how are you? They're in 4D and 4 Yeah, year four. Now we create for year four um, and uh, games. Um, I haven't seen games. Uh, we I've seen the um, the last the two weeks. In the last two oh. weeks, we use a link. Uh, oh. We share it with the student in the end of the lesson. Uh, it's the words that they are learning with with games. It's very oh. fun. Yeah. So so. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make sure they get into that. Yeah. Thank you, Rasha. Okay. You're welcome. Um, any question? If you have, if you, if you have any question. Um, Miss Rasha, yes. if uh, if you can just tell me, like, uh, my son is in year three right now, mm -hmm. and uh, of course from September he'll be in year four. So how much of Arabic does it change from year three to year four? Is it a big jump, or uh, uh, what changes are there in the learning from year three to year okay. four? Okay, in in year three, um, they are learn learning. For example, what's you mean? What's the outcomes? They have to be learned yeah. in each skill. Okay, in year three, for example, in writing, let me give you in writing, they supposed yeah. to describe, um, for example, um, simple, par they will write simple paragraph. Uh, they start yeah. sentence first, then simple paragraph. 
and yes. uh, they use simple uh, connective, simple uh, adjective. But in year four, they have to learn how to write a letter, informal, formal invitation. They will write, you know, it's different. And for example, okay. uh, the topic, a little bit difficult. Okay, okay. They will use a different connective. They will use uh, also, for example, write. Uh, now they are learning about seasons. I think since yeah. term. Yes. Yeah, yes. Well, I think earlier they were doing spring season, and now they are doing autumn. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, the topic will be different, okay. of course, but the the outcomes, uh, it's d different. Okay. The expectation. Hopefully by then they'll be in the school and I'll not have to help them out. <laughs> no, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, the student already, why we are successful in this uh, remote learning? We are using the same planning. What we are doing in the class, almost the same. Just we add yeah. the, we add English more. <laughs> to, but yes, only, yeah. yes, only to explain for the student the steps that they have to do. Yes, is, yeah. Actually, it's very successful. When I check all the CISOs, uh, the student work, I, I, I'm I very impressed of the work of the student. Yes. Honestly, even I didn't know how much Arabic he knows until unless the remote learning started. Yes. You know, when I heard him say such long paragraphs and he's sending videos, I myself was surprised that he knows this much. <laughs> yeah. Now you, are, you can learn also from with him. <laughs> Yes, yes, I think I must learn with him now. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. thank you so much. You're welcome. But, well, Mom, do you have any also any comments? <laughs> no, what but... Do think, what do you think about remote learning right gave, now? You gave us uh, some sheets for the parents learning and now I started learning the alphabet. <laughs> Uh, okay, I, I can share with you this website if you want. Will help you a lot. Okay. Let me give you this website. It's very useful for the parents. Okay. It's very useful. You, it's uh, you have everything. I will put it for you on the chat. From the basic, very useful. So I will put for you on the chat if you want. Uh -huh. Okay, I send it. Okay. Thank you, Ramadan Karim. See you. You're welcome. So this website will help you a lot uh, to learn Arabic, and this is uh, for a beginner. Uh, beginner adult beginner if you want to say will help you starting from the alphabet until you have verbs connected you will learn a lot of arabic if you have any question please let me know i hope you like um, the workshop about how, and uh, in the end of uh, next month we will have the the one i shared with you the assessment for each skills, we will have the same. We will do the same for speaking, for listening, for writing, and for uh, speaking with the, our student, uh, the, as they used to in the, in, the, in the school, the same. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you like it. See you. Ma salama. Bye. Ma salam. Shirin Andik A S Ilem Shanuladek. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ramadan Karim. See you. For you too. Bye. Very good. Ma salam.